I'm assuming the reason you clicked on this video is because you are trying to build a productive morning routine. Well, you came to the right place. First off, you gotta get up. Not gonna lie, building a productive routine takes a lot out of you, but then again, it's actually pretty simple. Like, I don't wanna say that it's so hard when it's really not. Building a productive routine requires consistency and it doesn't require motivation, it requires discipline. Motivation is the general desire. It's like the willingness to do something. Your self-discipline is you controlling your consistency you controlling your mind and controlling your willingness to keep on going. I managed to always find a way for my pre-workouts to match my fits, don't I? It's unintentional. I don't know about you guys, but I love, I love waking up early. I'm like, I'm a morning person, but at the same time, I'm not. I'd say like, if I have to get up, it's really hard for me to get up. Like there are times where some people cannot get me up if it was the death of me. Like I'm a heavy sleeper, I'm not going to lie. But that's just because if I'm tired or not, that's why I like to, you know, try my best to go to sleep early so that I can wake up early in the morning. Like I don't hate the mornings. I hate short amount of sleep. So when it comes to my like routines, I, I get this question a lot, the whole like, what time do you go to sleep? because I always show that I wake up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and I'd say 8 to 9 p.m. is my go-to. But I feel as if when you start waking up first at 4 to 5, your body automatically is suggesting, it's like telling you, you gotta be in bed by this time. The second your body is tired, listen to your body and go to bed. See, I have a problem with that because whenever I'm tired, I still would go on my phone. If I was tired, I would still stay up late. If I was tired, I would like still push myself to watch the movie. But last night, it's the first time that my sleeping schedule was actually telling me to finally go to bed because I have not been getting sleep lately since I've been trying to get up so early but I've been staying up late last night I was trying to watch Batman vs Superman because I remember when that movie was hyped and I wanted to see what the disappointment was but I didn't even get to watch the rest of the movie because I knocked out around like 9 my phone was still in the living room so without my alarm I woke up at 4 and I was like yo this is my sign this is my calling so I was really happy about that so I don't have a problem waking up early but my advice to be able to wake up this early is just go to bed early take a night pool anything that will put you to sleep tea music just something that's like your lullaby do it around 8 to 9 or probably around 7 30 or 7 40 so that you can fall asleep at those times that's how you start it off we're going to the gym soon after i finish this i'm gonna get a pre-workout snack and i think somebody was saying how doesn't the pre-workout hit the second you drink it you drink it so quick and then you go to the gym like wouldn't it not last anymore personally for me i don't know but this takes a while to get to me i like to drink it softly in the comfort of my own home so that I can feel like I'm not in a rush. All right, let's go to the gym. Did my lash, my lash just made me look like I had a lazy eye in that last clip. Damn. Before you go to the gym, make sure you have your steps ready. Like, of course, plan out your workout routine so that when you get there, you know what you're doing. Before you get there, you know exactly where to go right after. I type down my stretch routine and then I type down my workout routine with my sets and reps so that when I get there, I'm not there for too long. I also have my Apple Watch to time myself. I want to be there. I like to be there less than two hours, either an hour or two. I like to be there. I give myself 10 to five minutes of my stretches and warm ups and at least an hour hour or two with my regular workout routine whether it's lifting whether it's just strength building whatever it is
I'm kind of dying. I'm really tempted. Oh my gosh. Skittles. Oh, I want a Celsius. Yeah, they got Celsius. Let's get a Celsius. Guava strawberry? I didn't know they had that. I haven't had Celsius in a while. Cheers to guava strawberry. Nah, but this is straight. waiting for my papas to cook, but I'm making breakfast right now. Today's workout was kind of there. I was not in the mood. Like during my warm ups, I was not in the mood to do anything intense, but I don't know. I kind of just told myself the basic little slogan that I like to tell myself every day is that you won't regret it afterwards. I feel as if if you just feel like you really don't want to do it, if you just keep reminding and reminding yourself the fact that you're not going to regret it afterwards, I feel like that's like the only thing that kind of pushes me to you know do it the reason why i like working out the second i wake up well not the second but like the first thing i do after i wake up before i do anything else is so that it's out of the way because the way my mind works is that i like to get the hard part out of the way and i like to keep all the easy things at the end so that i can kind of relax and not be stressed out before i get to chill i like to do my workouts and gym all in the morning and then when i get home all i gotta do is work cook clean, do whatever journal, like stay at a peace of mind with myself. Today's breakfast is some papas with avocado and sunny side up egg. Oh my goodness, delicious. Added some seasoning and it's a literal breakfast bowl. I think it's a genius invention. Fight me if you don't think it is. Breakfast is made. Now this, my friend, is more than divine. Like I said, this is ingenious. So while I eat, I'm gonna answer, uh, answer. I'm gonna answer to some emails. I now finally, I finally just got a business email. It's linked in my description. Switching it up, getting a little more professional over here. So work is gonna be a little less stressful, I wanna say. It's gonna be more that I'm not working to live. I'm gonna be living to work. So let me just answer some of these emails.
It's now time for a shower. I don't know what made that mark over there. It's there. I have no idea what that is. It's like a black thing. Don't mind that. It is not dookie, I promise. I hope. For the shower, I'm using the hair growth mask. And basically what you gotta do is you gotta shampoo your hair. Then you apply the mask from the roots to the ends. You leave on for five to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly afterwards, and then apply your conditioner normally. shower was quite lovely now starting off my skincare i usually do my skincare curl hello grammar mail i usually do my skincare um right when i wake up like right after i brush my teeth like i wash my face do my skincare and then head to the gym but today i didn't do that see now when i break from my routine i get really frustrated when i know i shouldn't i don't know what it is i'm very compulsive when it comes to keeping my routine exactly the same nor having it in the right correct order i don't know if that's normal to go through that but for me when it comes to being in order if i'm not in order i get very dysfunctional frustrated and just plain out sad so let me know if y'all know what that feels like but yeah i don't usually do my skincare after the shower but when it comes to building a motivational routine i'd say you know have your own routine my routine is just very put together in my own ways i like to always incorporate daily things like skincare daily thing i like to consider skincare like brushing your teeth like i feel like when people don't know how to be consistent you look at certain things that you probably forget to do on a daily basis or probably don't want to do on a daily basis and just look at it the exact exact same way you look at brushing your teeth you wake up and your mouth is nasty what do you do brush your teeth what happens when you don't brush your teeth you get all your teeth get all yellow and your breath stank so what do you do if you don't wash your face in the morning you gotta look at your face like a coat of nastiness in the morning the same way you will look at your mouth as a coat of nastiness so you gotta brush your teeth the same way you gotta wash your face i like to make analogies i i don't know if y'all notice but i love i'm obsessed with making analogies i like to compare things to compare things and compare things on top of comparing things and of course y'all are you know spf all day every day no matter inside outside sunny or not you'll thank me later upwards with your never go down never apply any product to your face and push your face down i realized a big effect on that so i recommend pulling your face upwards natural botox kardashians could never no i'm trying out the australian organics uh, hair care i don't know if y'all remember but i unboxed it in one of my vlogs now i'm putting on the hair growth spray oil and let me tell you guys these products smell amazing i'll have them linked below in my description go check them out because this smells like pure perfection i have a lot of hair so and when i applied the mask it literally went through my thick ass hair so easily like it's really hard to get product through my hair but it was silky it went silky pretty well applied a little bit get it in between I gotta start taking my hair care seriously as well. As you can see, I have a shitload of hair. I do not take care of it as much. All I do is just shampoo it and put some either coconut oil on if I don't have conditioner. So this is a big step to my New Year's resolution, I guess. You know, more hair care for this Rapunzel, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Ecuadorian hair. But we're trying new things. When it comes to me being productive, incorporating new things that I don't usually do or I'm too lazy to do, especially your morning routine. Because once it's the afternoon, that's literally your time to chill. You know, you can wake up whatever time you want. If you wake up in the morning, have a routine for your morning so that afterwards, you, once your routine is done, you got time to chill. But if you wake up at night or if you wake up in the afternoon, do the exact same thing. Just have your wake up routine be something and then your afterwards, your chill time be your chill time so i gotta start planning i'm gonna look at my planner because planning takes a huge toll on my daily routine i suggest if you guys do not have a planner get yourself a planner it can be a crappy one it can be a self-made one it can be anything but you i feel as if you can't really have that much of a productive scheduled planned out motivational morning or days or weeks or months ahead if you don't plan it out i just think it's just not gonna work biggest tip of how i stay consistent and i discipline myself is when i plan out my days and i do my planner on a daily 
daily basis there's literally not a day where i don't skip my planner and it helps a lot you get addicted to it i'm not gonna lie do yourself a favor get a planner make a planner by all means do whatever you please to plan out your days i have a photo shoot with my photographer at round five but beforehand as you see i got my planner beforehand let's place you on the celsius can that's so safe celsius don't let me down I guess you guys can say that I am officially getting addicted to iced coffee. So I'm using this new cold brew that I got. How I used to make my iced coffees, I would use hot wa boiling water with coffee grounds or my mushroom coffee that is linked down below as well. And I would put it in the fridge for a bit and then put it in the ice and then, you know, my milk and all of that. But for some reason, it just really didn't give me the vibe. I didn't like it. Not that I didn't like it, but it just wasn't like, I, I wanted like two sips and I was donezo with it. But this, my friend I am now getting obsessed and I really don't like coffee as much as the next girl but I love matcha more but coffee really be making me take dookies when I really don't want to like I cannot work with coffee because I am working and if I got a dookie I'm not gonna make it to the bathroom. Not that I'm not gonna make it, but I am always work heavy if I am working. Something about me does not let me get up if I need to. If I need water, if I need to use the bathroom, I will stay until my work is done. I don't consider that a bad thing. My lips need some gloss in it. Y'all already know. Mariah's strawberry shortcake, I think. Lip gloss is a go. So right now, I am planning the rest of my week on my planner, like I told you guys. Get yourself a planner. This is what I take my time on and I do stress about it just because I want to like plan out two weeks ahead. <laughs> and then I'm going to answer to some more emails and do some meal planning on the iPad. Let's get to working. And let's get to planning. When it comes to meal planning, I like going on Pinterest to look for meals or my pins to see what I save for recipes to cook, obviously. Look at that. I got pastas. I got snacks. I got drinks. I got breakfasts, lunch and dinners. I am that girl. Also, I'm doing a that girl morning routine for 2022. I'll be ready for that. phone just died but i was taking pictures of my planning because i like to keep my planner in my office and when i want to remind myself what i'm doing when i wake up in the morning because i honestly don't remember anything if any of you guys got that problem where you have no idea you plan out your days but you completely forget what your day is going to be about since i'm my own boss i kind of like you know schedule my days the way i want to live it i say that's kind of the perks and cons of planning your own days and being your own boss you got to plan out all of your days like what you're going to do and for me i I hate when my planner days are blank or like have four things, which I know is a bad habit of mine. I gotta stop that. So I take pictures of it so that when I wake up, I can check instead of like coming back here for my planner. Doing that. Oh my God, I have to check already what I'm doing. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do a little TikTok home decor where I'm gonna go on TikTok and show you guys where I got my stuff from Amazon. Um, then I'm gonna clean up a bit. And then at five, oh, I might have to go to Michael's to pick up a backdrop for my photo shoot. I gotta get cute soon. Photo shoot. Let's go, let's go take that TikTok, clean up, and make some food. Before I do any of that, my feet are freezing. I gotta let my phone charge. I got these huge cases of water bottles that my friend gave me. My community's water turned off randomly, so we needed water. And he gave us like three. Shout out to you, Michael, if you're watching. My boy, Mike, he hooked us up with a bunch of water bottles. I don't like them here, so we're gonna put them in the pantry. Oh, we're gonna miss them. Where should I put it? I don't like getting water bottles because of all of the plastic. I like either getting the jugs, but I do, I really do need, <laughs> I really do need to get a, one of them, oh, is that wet? Ew, why are you wet? Why are they wet? That's what she said. I need to get the water filters 
packages so I can stop buying all of these jugs. I don't know why I haven't got one yet. I think I'm just gonna be really annoyed that I gotta keep buying filters on top of filters, but yet I'm here buying a bunch of water. See, I'm not cheap. I'm just bougie on a budget. Y'all already know Mel slogan, but when it comes to water, that's kind of cheap, Mel. But honestly, if you thought that was cheap, I literally fill up my jugs of water like that. This is filled with gym water because if I paid to go to the gym, the water should be free. I think that's kind of smart that I'm filling jugs of water from the gym, you know, saving water, saving plastic. But yeah, I do need a filter jug. I got quite carried away. Um, if you guys can remember what this pantry looked like, but it's a bit different. Took off some of the uh, pantry items. I don't know why I do this. I cannot have something be the same for more than like a second. And then I put it in here, which I actually really love it here. Glasses used to be here. Now the glasses are up here. Took most of the bowls that were in this middle shelf and put it in the pantry. And now the mugs are here. And I thought that was cute. And the water bottles are now put away. I don't do this a lot. That's a lie, I do this a lot. I, I have this tendency to when I'm doing one thing and I end up doing a bunch of other things. It's not like, it's not bad. But it's bad. Now I'm warming up some leftovers I have in my container. It is my taco bowl. I was gonna make Brussels sprouts, but I'm a little tired and I gotta wash the dishes, so I'm just gonna warm this up. I just got this new Dawn Power Wash dish spray from Costco and I love it. Taking the water bottle, putting it in this jar. This is the water that I like to have cold, so I keep it in the fridge mainly. I need a new one. I need like a bigger one since this kind of like holds a bottle and a half, a water bottle and a half. Game changer, you put Greek yogurt and either lime or lemon juice on top and boom, you got Sour cream. As you can see, today's lunch is quite obviously looking bushing. Divine, I might say. So this is leftovers. Obviously, it's just ground. Oh, my nails. I gotta do my nails. Ground turkey with some yellow seasoned rice that I made on my TikTok. Corn, black beans, spinach, lettuce, pico de gallo, Greek yogurt. Let's eat this ish. Before I eat, I gotta make the scenery look pleasing, aesthetically pleasing. My candles, heart candles from the Silk Bakery. I love this egg chair, if I didn't mention that a thousand times. Chipotle could never. Just kidding, I love you, Chipotle. I say this is pretty well done. All I gotta do is find where I bought it and edit it together. Yo, I'm hanging out with Freddie for one minute. Man's already forgetting the keys. Freddie, my guy, my guy. Yo. We've been, we, we've oh, been. No. <laughs> it's always chaos. We've, you bought, me on we've been chilling for more less than an hour. Less than an hour. It's already chaos. It's always chaos. <laughs> so we are heading to the beautiful Michaels for a backdrop. Fred's got his camera. Oh no, you don't like being called Fred, right? Wait, wait. What was the one you didn't like? Uh, was it Fred? I could have sworn so. it was I Fred. Think, no. Was it? <laughs> You so, not know? Stop it, I hate Melanie. I like Mel. So we're in more goals. As y'all know, probably this would have excited me a couple months ago, but not anymore. I don't remember the last time I've been in Mikael. What would the papers even be? Uh, plan B, Marshalls it is. They had no paper at all, not even roll paper. So we're gonna try to look for cloth. I love Marshalls. You get me in Marshalls, I'm gonna come out broke. God, it's this and Ross. <gasps> God damn me. <laughs> this is what I want for my balcony. Wait a minute. <laughs> God, this is a good chair. They don't really have it. Fuck, 300. I need groceries. Look I'm gonna go nice. broke. I have one of these. These are cute. What are these? <laughs> I'm saying it's is cute. This I don't like, even like, I think, maybe? yeah, blankets. This is too pretty. What the fuck? Ooh, I like these. Damn, I do need stools. This is ridiculously cute. All right. <laughs> Fuck, I'm getting it. Damn me. You know what would have been smarter? If I pulled the car off. <laughs> oh, 
thing, but this shit is heavy. <laughs> Grab that. Oh yeah, this is this is not bad. This is gonna be. Wait, where's the car? <laughs> oh my shoulder. What? <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder. Run, run. All right, so I need to figure out how we came. We're supposed to go to Michael's, and we're walking out with this big ass chair from Michael's. You can't take me to Ross, <laughs> Michael's, or TJ Maxx. You can never take me. I'll make some. Does it not look like that belongs there? It does look like it belongs there. If I, if we could tell you the backstory about how we got this chair, that is a whole. <laughs> That is a whole nother video to uh, explain, but just know that it was. It was supposed to be stolen, so. It was supposed at to be, yeah. have it here. This... Bro, when I tell you, we both looked down at the same time, and then we're like, oh my God, where's yeah, the guy? Yeah, we were like, yo, <laughs> babe. It was, it was so bad. Crazy. I was like, hey, is that him? We both look up, and we're like, oh, shit. We're like, no. Ooh, currently chilling on the chair. Photo shoot's done. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I motivated y'all enough to start making a routine for yourself. Start having your mornings more productive. And I'll see you guys in the next video because your girl is tired. Literally, it's 9.41. I just told y'all that my bedtime is like at 8. So it's time for Mel to go to bed and continue her productive morning. I love you. Mwah.